So we're going to take a look at how to use your graphics calculator for working out the probabilities for a normal distribution. Uh, this calculator has just been reset so I can take you through exactly what your calculator should look like from a reset. And you should practice doing the reset yourself because that will happen before you walk into the exam. Your calculator will be reset, you'll need to know exactly how to get to what you need. Right, so for normal distribution we need to go into the statistics mode right there. And if you look along these bits here down the bottom, you can see the menu for what's available. If what you're looking for is not in that list, you press F6 here to go along and see what other options you've got. We are doing distributions, so we want to press F5 there. And then you'll see there's normal just there, so press F1. Now with these options here, uh, you will just kind of need to completely ignore that NPT. You're not going to use that. We're going to use this here, NCD, which means cumulative on the normal distribution, which means we are working out probabilities between two values. OK, so we're going to press NCD now. Now, this is a little bit of a problem. What we've got here, because the calculator got reset, is not actually what we want. This is saying that we're reading from a list that's already in the calculator, which is not true. So change it from list into variable mode by pressing F2 here. Now we've got what we want. Now the variables that uh, we had from the question, I've written on a little post-it note to remind myself. We had the mean was 600, sigma was 18, and we're working out the probability that x is less than 580. Okay, so we'll put in the easy ones first. We'll go down to The sigma there is 18, the mean is 600, and now I'm going to go back up to these other parts, the, the lower and the upper limit. So the lower limit, we haven't got a number for the bottom of what we want, but we want it to go all the way to the end of our curve. We know the normal distribution curve never actually stops at either end. So we just want a really big number to the left. So that would be a really big negative number. So you just put in a few nines with a negative. And our upper limit is we want everything up to 580. Like this. Now we've just put in our sigma mu already. Press enter. And this right here is your probability. You can ignore this z low and z up. This is the probability that you want. So the probability of um, x being less than 580 is 0 0.133, which means the chance of picking a bottle from that question that we were just looking at that had less than 580 mil in it is 0 0.133.